Oh, yeah, there they are. Oh, damn. Oh, this kind of goes a little bit crazy. I'm not going to lie. What? With the future armor update in Fortnite, there's two brand new guns that are now added to the game. One of them being Bender's shiny metal ray gun. In today's video, we're going to be getting this item, having a first look at it, seeing how it plays out and trying to get a dub if we can. Now, if you're landing at Mega City to get this gun, best thing you want to do is hit the dragon here at the top or just the rift area. This allows you to redeploy a lot lower to the ground and you'll land a lot sooner compared to everybody else. Now Bender spawns at the docks here in Mega City near the launch pad. So we're just going to get the ray gun for 600 gold and then we're going to hire Bender for an additional 200 gold. Because why not? Brand new future armor update. Let's see if Bender is a good NPC. Alright, we also get ourselves a combat SMG here. And before I push any major fights, I want to get some shield and then I'll see what's going on. So it appears Bender's got a ray gun as well. Now, I don't believe this ray gun is going to be super OP. It should be like the old school ray gun. Let's have a quick test fight. It does have infinite ammo. It is a mythic item. And, okay, it does a little bit of damage here, but didn't destroy that tree in one shot. And the cooldown does take a little bit of time. Okay, this tree is taking a lot of damage. Is this tree indestructible? What's going on here? Is that three whole clips? Okay, two and a half whole clips. So not really that powerful. See on the right side of my screen next to my reticle, that is the charge time. When that goes to the max number here, it does have a cooldown on it. So we're going to try that out again on uh, this door here. So these doors have 150. So to break a build with 150 HP or 300 HP in this use case, doesn't do it. It does about 280 per clip for buildings to damage. This is the other new gun, the Mammoth Pistol. I'm gonna be making a video on this later on after this video. So make sure you stay subscribed to check that one out. Separate videos for separate new guns. Let's give them some full focus in this. All right, I got a fun chest here. This is really good. Hopefully we can get ourselves some shield. All right, nice, a lot of shield here. The Bender does kind of act like Munitions Expert, is dropping me a lot of ammo. Speaking of Munitions Expert, she's actually moved on the map. She's now located up here next to the lake. And there's also, on top of Bender, another three brand new NPCs. Not sure what they do yet, but there's one here at Citadel. There's also one here at Shady Steels, and then the last one's above Lonely Laps. And I am going to buy the Lever Action Shotgun, as that has been unvolted. If you guys haven't checked out my update video where I note all the updates, make sure you check that out. Ooh, Bender drops shockwaves. That's really good. You want to be checking out that video because it notes all the small little things in the game. But I thought I'd let you know here about the shotgun updates if you haven't checked out that video yet. The Lever Action Shotgun has been unvolted, and the Maven hasn't been vaulted? But it's kind of not as available as it used to be. So now, in order to get the Maven shotgun, you have to speak to characters. You can't just get this gun typically off the ground or on chests anymore. Let's see how quick it takes out the Warthog here. Okay, cleaned up that Warthog really, really quick. Maybe damage to plays is a lot better than it is to build. Well, there is a Llama here. I haven't run into a person yet. Let's see how it does on the Llama. Okay, kind of frying the Llama. And if you do let go of it, it doesn't reset the item completely. Let's have a test here. If I don't make this overheat, does it recharge faster? So right now, we're letting it go almost to the top and I'm gonna let go of the gun and about one and a half seconds, maybe a little bit less than that. And then overheating is about the same. So it doesn't really make a difference if you let it not overcharge, if you like tap it. It's important to note also, this gun doesn't tap properly. Like if I just tap it like that, it's not gonna do anything. It's more of a charge. So if you want to use this as a replacement of like an SMG, it's probably not going to be doing you very well. Bro, where is the lobby at? Oh, someone just killed the boss. Let's test that range out. Okay, not super, super bad. They're not super good also. Alrighty, almost cost me my life, but kind of worth it at the same time there. Now this player appears to also have one of Bender's ray guns, but they didn't buy it from the NPC, which leads to me to believe that you can probably get this item from the ground also. Similar to some other mythics we've had in the past, like the Cybertron cannon. Now this mythic is getting vaulted reportedly at the end of this update. So next time the next update comes out, 25.3 I believe, which should be in two weeks time this gun will be vaulted. It does feel like a reskin version of the old ray gun that was in the game, to be honest. And I don't think the lever shotgun is gonna be the play in zero build mode, but why not try it out a little bit? Actually, you know what? Why don't we carry two ray guns here? Now this does feel like a vibe. Right, there's someone above me on the zip rail somewhere. Okay. 
That broke builds really, really easily then. I'm not sure why they decided to heal there. It breaks builds pretty nice. Like heavy builds, like brick and stuff, it's probably not gonna break in one shot. But say if you're playing duos and you and your teammate both have these, that feels pretty clean. I have to say, however, for 600 gold, I don't think it's worth it. Like maybe if you wanna experiment, have some fun. But considering I'm sure that you can get this on the ground based on that other person having it, I don't think that amount of gold is worth it for this item at all. All right, 22 people left. We're not currently in zone, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Let's go to zone here. All right, we've got Bender on the back here of the bike. Oh, and something that I actually forgot to show you guys. While we're in Mega City, let's, let me go back to Mega City real quick. I was worried about someone landing on me off spawn. It's like a cool little Easter egg, I guess, to a degree. So the Futurama Planet Express spaceship is actually crashing to the billboard there, just like the trailer. I think that's a cool little addition to the game. Let's get a bike that's got more fuel and let's head towards zone. Okay, Ali A got taken out there. I didn't feel like using the ray gun at that close range would have been a benefit to me, so I didn't really use it. Next victim, Bender says. All right, Bender wants to take people out. Interesting, interesting. Nice to have an NPC on your team that likes pushing people. Let's roll. I'm talking to the tires. Okay. <laughs> okay, buddy. Bender's got a lot of voice lines as well, which leads me to believe that he might not be on the map for like a super, super long time. Maybe only a short amount of time. And a lot of little references to the show that's going on here in Bender's voice lines. It'd be really cool for you in future collabs if they had these NPCs on the map to hire like the actors or the voice actors to do the voice of these characters. Because then you could have the actual voices in the show. But just for the NPCs, not for like people wearing the skin, I think. Right, I'm looking for a rift up here. Maybe Bender will come with me over here. Okay, the double ray gun feels kind of OP. I don't know if that's just me though. And it feels really easy to aim too. Nice. Considering I don't actually want anything from the island, I might just try and hold it to contest it, to be honest. Someone on low ground on this side, I can't see them exactly, so they're probably more under the island than in front of it. Hey, there they are. Oh, damn. Oh, this kind of goes a little bit crazy, I'm not gonna lie. What? Maybe even three of these would be a play. Like, who knows? Honestly, I feel like I'm getting the hang of it, and I feel like there's no stopping me right now with this new item. All right, someone's going sniper tower. How long will it take me to break the roof out? Now, range damage doesn't seem to be super great for this thing. In terms of damage to build. I think I should try to land on this person. I can't see them through the tree line there. Use this tree as cover. Now that person might go to the island, so I want to contest that real fast. Let's just make sure no one's coming to my island. All right, six kills on the board, seven people remaining. Someone did take the zip line under me, so I reason to believe I might be able to see this. Where I'm at, maybe not. Nice. Fair few good tags there. All right, they're still under the island. I might just wait on this little lip here. Nice. Yeah, it makes like a, a sound when it gets overheated. So it's like really easy to tell when it gets overheated. 
Oh, there might be someone to look down on here. Big tree taking a long time to fall. Alright, big tree's gone. There was a person under there a moment ago. Oh, there they are. Well, that's disappointing I launched myself up in the air. <laughs> oh, such a free shot. No, thank you, sir. Alright, there's another person above me. Hit him for a nice little 32. Lol. Oh, damn. That close range really hits nice. Alright, they seem to be gone. Alright, Scope Salvo. That's another new perk. I just realized I haven't selected any of the perks yet. That's kind of crazy. I wonder if this counts as an assault rifle. Probably not. And we'll go Mud Warrior here too. I wonder if Bender's getting attacked here. Okay, I'm stuck. Weird. Alright, let's take this statue. Someone on the island there. I don't really want to directly land on that. Let's see how we fare on this person. Nope. <laughs> I am good, bro. I am chilling over here. I think I should probably go to that island. Yeah, I've only got three shocks, no bunkers, because I didn't have the inventory space. But I do think this island is going to be like the play here. I'm going to waste the shockwave to get up. Right, someone is launching again. Nice little 42 there. Break that into their house. Oh, <laughs> I got him with kinetic ore. That's the first time I've got a kinetic ore kill. Okay. Works nice on the kinetic ore, I guess. How? Bro, I know this rock doesn't have infinite health. What is going on here? If you really line them up, it does a lot of damage. Kind of fries. I'm going to have a look to see if I can see these two over here real quick. I don't think I can. I'm going to shockwave here. Because then I can get in the bush, get some more health. Ouch, 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 ouch. Bro, there's one person left. I'm so focused right now. <laughs> oh, that is Bender's shiny. What is it called, bro? I don't even know, dude. But Bender's shiny metal ray gun. It's pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. At first glance, first use, I was kind of like, this gun's not for me, not really the play, but holy, this gun can fry. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like the video. If you guys are not yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe down below for more Fortnite content. My name is Oni, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Remember, take care of yourselves. Bye.